the race to the moon is heating up. India is gearing up to make history. Its lunar aircraft Chandrayaan-3 is all set for launch and India's largest rocket LVM-3 stands assembled at the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Andhra Pradesh, Sri Harikota. It will take the Chandrayaan-3 to the moon. Our next report looks at how India aims to achieve new heights, sealing the country's place in the Space Leaders Club. Moon is believed to be the symbol of love. From poets to musicians, everyone has romanticized the moon. It is a source of inspiration for them. And for scientists, moon is a mystery which they want to solve. Back in the late 1960s, the world's two superpowers, the US and USSR, were contesting against each other to conquer the moon. In 1969, the USSR made its second attempt to test fire its own moon rocket known as N1. And in the Soviet era as well, Yuri Gagarin became the first person to go into space. Although USSR's attempt to put a man on the moon was never fulfilled, but the US was able to achieve this feat when its Apollo 11 mission took one giant leap for mankind. And now the space race is getting crowded. Another world superpower has entered the race to explore space. The US, Russia, China have already put their stamp on space. To give them competition, India has also entered the space race. The Indian Space Research Organization is gearing up for the highly anticipated launch of Chandrayaan-3, its third lunar mission. Chandrayaan-3 will be landing near the lunar south pole. The south pole of the moon remains largely unexplored. It poses difficulties that no other missions have faced. But India is ready to take the challenge head-on with Chandrayaan-3. It will also become the fourth country to conduct a soft landing on the moon. Only the US, China and Soviet Union have achieved this feat so far. What is India's lunar aircraft going to do? It has three main objectives. First, to land safely on the lunar surface. Second, to conduct rover operations. And lastly, it will conduct scientific experiments on the moon. Now, Chandrayaan-3 will deliver a lander and rover to the lunar surface. The rover will explore, take samples, collect information for 14 Earth days. The moon mission is going to cost ISRO only 615 crore rupees, that is around 75 million dollars. Hollywood space movies like Interstellar and Gravity were more expensive than this. ISRO is known for its low-budget space missions. India's Mars orbiter Mangalyaan was a massive success in 2013. It cost ISRO only 470 crore rupees, that is roughly 57 million dollars. Chandrayaan-2, India's second lunar exploration mission, was worth 800 crore rupees, or 97 million dollars. India is emerging as a key player in the global space sector. Excitement is high for the launch of Chandrayaan-3. Will India make history? The countdown has begun. Stay tuned. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.